day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Matter of fact, to close out, because it's almost 9 o'clock, to close out, Elder, I do want to leave two foundational scriptures to go with our point of dealing with the fact that Christ is not a racist, right? It's, it's this scripture right here. Uh, I'm going back to the beginning, right? Here's the beginning. This is Genesis chapter 1, where it says that God created, here it is right here, I'm going to share it with you, we shared it with the audience, and I'll put my slides up to go with it, so they can see it clear, uh, let me see, a share, scripture, it's right here, it says right here, God said, in verse 26, Genesis 1, 26, God said, let us make man in our image man not white man black man red man yellow man rich man poor man <laughs> those are all structures that we created to use to control and manipulate things but god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male look at that and female not rich black white, poor, whatever. God made man, and man is consists of male and female. He, 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 them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them. We just talked about the fruits of spirit, right? Look at this there. Be what? Fruitful. Woo, fruitful. Yeah. And multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion not over white man, black man, red man, yellow man, but over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Man, not dominion over man, but over these things. Come on now. And, and look, look, and the reason I talk about it, I think he used the parable of the sea, <laughs> because he said, and God said, behold, I have given to you every herb very seed the soil principle right he who sowed right the sower sows the word he said i earth bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth in every tree and every tree is known by its fruit right <laughs> and which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to it shall be for meat. Man. Now, look at this. Genesis 2. Verse 9. I don't know. Verse 7. Right? There it is. Right here. Verse 7. And the Lord God formed man. Not white man, red man, yellow man, black man. 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 Right? There's no sub-man, the lower man. There's no man coming from how far he moved from the tree, doggone it. God didn't say how far you away from the tree. God is sent that created man. Huh? Yeah. And he sat there and said, where's I'm at? And he said, of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And man, not color, not subdivision that we create and try to hold on and think those are the laws of God, that devil's a liar. God didn't sit there and make no subdivisions. We made those subdivisions and those subdivisions we know are not righteous, but we try to do it anyway. He said, man became a living soul. We are all made in the image of God. And then another thing I wanna throw at you too before we leave, and the fact is that when they sit there in Genesis dealing with that Noah and, and this, this curse that they talked about, uh, 
where is that sign at? Where is that at? It said here, uh, what happened? Where is that curse coming in at? You remember? It's, uh, it's near the earlier part. So he shall deliver us from the curse of of, of the land of, of the, because of Adam's sake. <clears throat> it said that Noah would deliver us from that curse. Well, the thing about it, what, one of the things I had in the thing was that, uh, where is that, where is it happening? Where is this, this curse that was... Uh, it, it, that was before the flood started. I think it was No, no, it was, a, it was after the flood. It was after the flood. It was after the flood. There was, there was one that, uh, that he, uh, boy, he was talking about Noah. He was talking about Noah delivering us from that curse because it actually came upon us as a result of the slaying of... Um, of, um, I mean, the fallen in the garden, it came as a result of falling in the garden. And then it talked about in the genealogies, I think he was talking about he was so forth, some he was here you know, somebody, right son, somebody, son, somebody, so he was here, here, here it is, right here. This, this is Genesis 9, talking about Noah descendants, in okay. chapter 9, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark with Shem and Ham and Jephthah. And Ham is the father of Cana, right? That's the Canaanites. Right, the dark, dark, complicated people. Yeah, but the Canaanites, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Because Ham had more than Cana. He had several sons, yeah. Well, that's what the whole point is, is sit there and try to give a whole race of people. And first of all, Ham is the father, not Cana. Cana is not the is not the seed of the dog skin, if you want to call it the dog skin. Ham is, right? Ham is right. And so Cana coming out of him. And he didn't it, curse Ham, he cursed Cana. He cursed Cana. Only one of his sons. Yep. That's what I'm saying. So let's look at this here. It says here. As a matter of fact, I think they gave some. Oh, that's the curse you're talking about. Okay, I thought I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> it says right here, so in those days, these are the sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread of them of these three yep not cana but these three right and it so these supposed to be representatives of the colors of skins yes. <laughs> out the, there right the shemites were the islamics and the, and the jews uh -huh. the were the blacks and the jeff jeff was the the asian the caucasian people that were in light the, light skin yeah, light skin okay uh, one is olive, right? And yeah. one is, is, is dark, kind of pale, yeah. right? And then one yeah. is dark skin, right? Mm -hmm. And the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness, and this now referred to some type of sexual situation here, or exposure of his father, all right? And he told his two brothers without. And Shem and Seth Jephthah took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. Now that implies that Ham told them about something that they came and covered up a, some type of sexual situation that Ham said, I saw. They came, obviously, whatever they saw, they still could see it. That's why they turned their back. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so Ham is not the one that did anything. Okay, and 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 and, uh, and Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him, and he said, "Curse who?" Canaan. Canaan. So that means Canaan. Something. Canaan did something. Now Canaan was the son of, of Ham. Yeah, and, but Canaan did the something. Was, why didn't he curse Ham? Because Ham was the one that actually committed it. And, no, I don't think so. Because here's why I'm saying I don't think so. You ready? This is my, I'm, I'm going to bring it back again, right? Let's read it again. Okay, Ham, at 9 and 22. Ham saw the act. Right. All right? And he right. really told his brethren. 
right. right? And his brethren took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness. He, if Ham is not there, because Ham told them. Well, Ham was the one that covered them, covered him initially. Well, it said, it said he saw. Yeah, he it's saw. Right. I'm, I'm saying he saw, not uncovered nothing. He saw. What you saw uncovered? Well, he, was, I, I, he was uncovered yeah. within his tent. Uh huh. That was Noah. He, right, he drank the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. Right. And Ham, the father of Cana, so that means Cana somewhere is a reason behind this saw the nakedness. So he didn't uncover nakedness. You see it? Oh yeah, I see it, yep. And of his father, and this is what he did. He told his two brethren without. And Shem and Sepha took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went <clears throat> backward. And look, covered the nakedness of their father. So it can't be that Ham is involved with it because Ham is the one told them about it and they had to walk backwards so they wouldn't see the nakedness. Okay. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father nakedness. So one saw their father nakedness, the others went backwards so they wouldn't see the nakedness. This right. one told them about the nakedness. So he saw something that Aunt Noah did. Oh, he saw and something. For some reason, Canaan was involved with it. Well, I think Canaan being his son and was the one that was cursed. He didn't curse it. Abraham, not Abraham, but Noah didn't curse his own son. He cursed his son's son. Yeah, but his, but my point is saying is what did where do you see Ham do anything? Well, the only thing that Ham did was go in there and look at his father's nakedness. He didn't cover it, and then he came out and told his brothers about it. And what do you think? Na- what do you think? What do you think that nakedness? Let's mm-hmm. look at his word nakedness. Let's put in the let's put in the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm much interested in that too. Yeah, let's translate that because I know a lot. I, this has come up and studied over and over again because people. I keep saying my question was why did he curse Canaan? It was it was Ham that was the one that saw the nakedness. But see, that's what I'm saying. The, it's the nakedness is what you need to see what that means. Let's look at nakedness. Then I blah blah blah. Within it says the nakedness. Uh, let me see if I can find it another way. Cause I can't bring it. Let me see if I can bring it over. <clears throat> okay. What does the word nakedness mean? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. It says uh, disgrace, blemish. Nakedness, shame, unclean, nudity, literally, especially the pudenda or figuratively, disgrace and blemish. Nakedness, shame, unclean. Mm-hmm. When, if you stay carnal, you're thinking just naked body. Nudity, yeah, nudity, literally. It means. That's what I'm you're thinking, so, but the, you, what we're living out is the word shame, disgrace, uncleanness. Which kind of takes us back to the garden because what they saw when uh, their eyes were open were each other's nakedness and they tried to cover it with the fig leaves. The fig leaves. But when they were naked, the point about the the nudity itself, they were naked and they were not ashamed. Initially, they weren't ashamed. Yeah, yeah, but when when they were really naked as they did then because they sinned, right? Then they so, started so, making, prior, so, prior, so prior to that, nakedness in itself is not a sin. I don't think so. Right, that was scripture said, right? So Noah, if we sit there thinking that because a man saw his father nudity, that he's supposed to be cursed, I think I don't think that's the case. Something shameful, something unclean <laughs> happened. If you if you look at um, pornography, you look at it basically. I think some of the same thing because at some point it was looked, it was shown because of there was a certain amount of regard that people were supposed to have for each other's, you know, uh, person, 
and, and, they, and they did not expose themselves for, for the reason of modesty or, or what it was called. But why would you? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you be cursed because you saw somebody's nakedness? Why? Why? If you if you take it literally as nudity, what what, what the heck I'm supposed to do? I walked. The man walked in and saw his father's nakedness. He didn't do that. All he saw was the man's nakedness. The man was the one that exposed himself. The man was the one that was uncovered. You can't yeah. sit there and curse somebody. You can't sit and curse somebody's son because you're naked. Well, that means did. something else happened. I think I think he, he he literally did call that upon his son though, because yeah, but, it, it actually came to pass when he said, "Cursed be Canaan, a servant of a servant, shall he be?" What what what? Well, I'm going to throw something at you, sir. Then first of all, Ham was not cursed. Ham no, is the father he, of the if you want to call it Ham was the father of the dark skin race. You know what? I, that makes sense to me, because if Ham had been cursed, all of his children would have been cursed. Exactly. So he chose one. One. That's he what why he chose that one. But what happened was his curse played out. It played it, out to what? It played out through history. History. Because the Canaanites no. were the ones that were brought into submission. The, the Canaanites were the one where the children of Israel went and conquered the land from the children yeah. of Israel. Right? He the said the servant of, of a servant shall you be. Yeah. Yeah, of, of one country, one nation, one mm -hmm. group of people. Mm -hmm. That was... That was what what he said. Let's go ahead and back and read it. Let's finish up and read it here. All right. He said, I think I'm saying what I'm trying to say is something unclean, something like that happened with Cana, is what I'm trying to say. Not Ham. You're not gonna curse nobody because they saw you naked. That's your problem. You the one that I'm gonna walk in and see you naked. I'm gonna get cursed for that. The, well, the devil's well, alive. Huh? So you remember when he was talking to um who was it? The, the the one who had killed the young man? Yes. And he said that anybody that sees me, oh, that was that was initially that was Abel. He said that that you, the your curse is too great for me. I, anybody that sees me is going to kill me. Yes. Sir. And, and he says that okay, he was going to put a mark on him that if anybody killed him, then they would be killed something like seven exactly. times or something right. like that. Right. And then the other guy comes in and said he had killed a young man for his hurt and a, and a, young, a man for his hurt and a young man for his wounding. And if what's the name was going to be killed seven times, I can't remember what he said it would be as far as seven times. Yeah, he people. was talking it'd be two, four, or something like that. Yeah. But, and the, but and all those scriptures perplexed me because it seemed like the person who had committed the infraction was the one who was calling the punishment down on the people that were just told him, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. The Cain did something. He killed somebody, right? He, he slew Abel, yeah. And then, and then yeah, his, son, the they, they his son killed somebody. You have never seen anybody be killed because of seeing somebody who was naked. David saw uh, Bathsheba naked. Man, that was a curse for him. No, 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 no. Anybody said he got, got cursed because he saw her nakedness. He was he got in trouble because he committed adultery, and he also got in trouble because he set up the death of Uriah. Mm -hmm. So when you sit there and people go and look at this scripture we're talking about, I'm saying if you're not gonna you're not gonna curse this man because of nudity, you curse him because he did some he saw a witness. An unclean act, and maybe and maybe that act was which um, came. You know, well, we play with it now. It's like mm, missing somebody Kana. making it a big deal, but yeah, maybe he thought naked is also referred to. The naked mm -hmm. is also the scripture talking about is that a person who sleep with his father's wife. Yeah, he uncloses and uncovers his father's nakedness, See, right? So it's not neck. It's not nudity. That's uh, what I'm trying to tell you. He saw an unclean act. Well, he might have seen, he might have slept with his, his mother. <laughs> he, <laughs> he could have slept with his mother. He could have slept with his mother. He could have did that, that. that, right. But he saw, uh, well, no, there were no concubines there. Either you had you had Cain, I mean, you had Noah, wife, and the three sons. Oh. Well, I don't want to think about that, because that means he would have had to sleep with Sarah. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, we're talking about Noah. Her name was Sarah. What was her name? Nah, I don't think they gave the name for that I'm aware of. She would have been, 
she would have been the only woman in the world at that point because all the rest of them were dead. No, no, you had three. Each, each of the husbands, each oh, yeah, of the husbands yeah, had a yeah, wife. Yeah, had wives, yeah. Right. So he had a Cana. But that would have been his mom. Yes. His his grandma. That's right. That would have been. It, it wasn't at, unless you try to say Ham slept with his mom. But I think what he had is Cana must have slept with his mother. It, I've, it, I've seen that scripture many times, and I've, it, it, it never was clear in my mind as to what happened there. I just, and when I looked at the results of what happened with Canaan himself, and noticed that he did go into bondage, he went into captivity, and actually was almost annihilated. Exactly. Uh, but, but see, and see, the lie we're trying to say is that people, let me make sure people can see us. The lie we're trying to say is people try to condemn and curse an entire race of people based on the fact that the scripture did not cast the curse on Ham, who is the father of, if you want to say it, of the darker race of melon and people's skin. It was just one of Ham's sons. And that's right. why I want to make sure we bring in there is yep. that you can't sit there and try to give it to the whole nation. They were the ones that they came and took. So let's, let me make sure I finish this up. Okay, look at this. So. So Noah woke and he said, curse be, look at this, Cana, 25. Because another thing too is God blessed those three sons. You can't override God's blessing. Well, you know that Ham was a father of, of, uh, of, uh, of Nimrod. Nimrod. But yep. so, so, so my point is, I'm saying is, you can't curse what God blessed. You can't. That's my point. So what yep. he did was, he went after one of the children of Cana, I mean of Ham, and let's finish reading that real quick. Because people use that lie for an entire race of black people. Good Lord. A servant of servant shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Cana. So this is Jews right here. And Cana shall be his servant. Yep. Not not this group over here. God shall enlarge Jephthah, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Cana. Just Cana, not Ham, shall be his servant. Right. And Noah lived a hundred Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years, and all the day Noah was nine hundred and fifty years and he died. Now, what I wanted to know, what was the descendants? I think it's the next chapter, right? Let's see, right. descendants of, of Noah, from Noah. All right, let's go ahead and find Ham. Okay, here's Ham. Yep. Verse Quit. six. Mizram. There's Quit. Mizram, there's Cush. Yep. There's Cush. There's, there's Put, which is like Egyptians, right? And there's Cana. Yep. And then Cush had all these people. Look at a Havilah. That's definitely dealing with somewhere in Egypt. Look at all these people. Yep. Look at Cush again. Here's Cush. Look, and, and Cana didn't produce Nimrod. Cush. Cush did. Come on now. So, so yeah. how do you? What, what did you? What you lying out of your? You, you know, I'm I ain't talking to you, but the people lied. Yeah. How did you put an entire race of color of people based on the fact that only one person was 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 cursed? Because it because it fit their agendas. I think it like, fit it, their agenda. That's and that's the same thing that happens now. When you guys be talking about the seed, planting a seed in the ministry. Yes, sir. That's a whole version of scripture. Yes, sir. And the people that don't read the Bible. Come on now. Pick it up and run with it. They'll pick up and run with it. Because they, 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 that's what he's saying. Engineers. He said people yep. are here but not understand. Yep. And the Bible said to study to show yourself approved. You cannot. And I'm telling you, the people is going to look at this video. Let me get, let me get my, take this day off. Let me take this day off. I want them to say, I'm talking about the people who sit there looking at this video. Some of y'all gonna look at this video. Some of you gonna look at this video later in life. I don't care where you're gonna look at, but you're gonna get this video. And what we just talk about the fact is if you, you're a liar, if you sit there and try to give an entire race of people to be cursed and then and, and for for one person out of a children of many, yep. Ham being the father. If we're gonna say he's the father of the dark races, no color, brown, whatever, black, whatever, he had children. Stop, stop, 
Wow, and sorry. only one, only one of his children was cursed. And those were the children that were in the promised land flown with milk and honey. And God took and conquered that land because the sins of Cana has raised, rose to the level that was time for their destruction. But they are where Israel proper is today. Amen. Cana. In, amen. Cana land. Come on, brother. I just Canaanite. A Canaanite. In the, in the Israelites or the Jeff, or not the Jephites, but they're the Shemites. Come on, brother. Come on. What's really funny is that the people who push, the they say they're synagogue state, not believe that, but the people that push rap music the most and really move the media in the United States of America are Shemites. Come on, brother. And who do they bite? Who do they get behind? <laughs> They push the rap music. They're the ones that put the, the, the rap icons out there because Shemites got behind them and pushed that music. Now, oh. there's one place that said that they, they call themselves Jews, but are not, but are really a synagogue of Satan. They seem to really line up with that. <laughs> but, but just from the, you know, just from the carnal perspective, it's interesting to note that Jewish people are so involved in pushing rap music in wow. the music entertainment period. But I, <laughs> hey, hey, look, but the part I want to get out of is we're talking about God is not a racist. Is the point is, first of all, God didn't curse him. And Noah didn't create nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, if you're going to sit there and tell it, then Christ is redeeming from the curse of the law. Well, so first of all, I'm just saying is, hey, you, 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 you definitely can't sit there and say that we are all descendants of Cana. Your devil's a liar. I'm telling you right now, you're a liar. That, that ain't what the scripture says. It's not. And then the no second part, here. and the <laughs> second part is, Cana, I mean, Noah is not God. He's the one who was drunk. Right. Huh? That's right. How are you gonna sit there and get a drunk man and sit there and say he he got the uh, 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 eternal curse on a color of people? There Sorry, is. we can't do it. Are you familiar with Second Kings? We're um, Elijah cursed Gehazi? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, that, he went out left his wife. Yes, sir. Also, there was a curse that was placed. Mira. Mira. Yeah. And she also turned up. <laughs> in other words, they, in other words, they call that a curse, didn't they? Make and, it a and the only thing that, the, the Bible calls it a curse. And the only thing that, the only curse that deals with pigment was those two curses. Yes, sir. They didn't even say that he was made black. He was already black. Come on. Peter was black because he was Ham's son. Come on now. So it didn't, him being cursed didn't make him black. His nope. relationship in that situation was the thing that brought him into that situation, you know, the being cursed. Exactly. And exactly. what God has, you know, uncursed, who can curse? That's what the one prophet told him. He said, if God can curse him, I can't, if he ain't, if he didn't bless him, I can't undo it. <laughs> yeah, you, that's what I'm saying. You couldn't, can't, you can't, Cain, Cain is, he's the father, which is the, the being contributed to being the father and I want any ministry up there you go and you read that word and you go if you're gonna call us saying we saying something different you we got to get into word. we got to get into you the word read that word and you read it to your people don't you lie to your people you read it and Cana is not the the, the father of the color race no you know you're not it's you not so you're lying if you sit there and try to tell people that. I don't care what it, whatever affiliation you have, you better tell the truth because you're gonna have to answer to God to sit there and try to tell it. Well, well, this the dark people. No, where you find that in the scripture? Hey, there. The word speak for itself, but you gotta sit there and you gotta divide that word. Yes, something happened between Noah and, from my, my perspective, Cana, because. Noah's two sons walk backwards to imply to me whatever was unclean, whatever was wrong, they didn't want to see it. And it couldn't be Ham because Ham was the one that ran and told them. What are you trying to say? Ham told them and then ran back and, and got into the unclean act? Come on, bro. I don't think he didn't. I don't think he gonna help him on. Right, he didn't buy the word. He, he, he wouldn't. He didn't play no part in that. 
that's my point. That's the script to speak for itself. It doesn't make sense. Cause all you try to tell me, he gonna go tell his brothers, then he gonna run. He didn't say he ran back. He didn't say he went back and and and, and participated in the whatever the unclean act was. Well, just yeah. throwing a word at you, man. The word is speak for itself. You rightly divide the word. And the top of that, the main thing we're leaving out of this is we're moving into God is not a racist. Is the fact is we'll show you what the scripture says is Canaan is not the father of the dark skin race. Ham is. Ham had more than one child. So don't sit there and try to contribute contribute the rest of them because yeah. the children of Israel went and invaded the land of Cana, which yeah. is now Israel proper. There is so many races that came out of him. It was ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So there, was so many, there were so many nations that were born from him. Right. But you know something I just realized during the study was that Ham was the last one. Mm. I know I don't read this thing saying he was the youngest son. But he was, was the last. Yeah, it said he was the youngest son. So he was the last. <laughs> and the last should be first. I'm sorry. That's a good one too, bro. That's a good one too. That's a good one too. But the last uh, should be first, then the first should be last. The first should be last, then the last yes. should be first. So you go ahead and pray us out. We don't went over, over. Yeah, we're we're going to make this a video, man. <laughs> because yeah. it's good. we're just going to continue to pick it up. But I think we need to tie in scriptures that shows that God is 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 not a racist. There, there is um, it's it's all, one blood he has created all men. Yes, sir. There's, there's one scripture that said, that quotes that. It said that of one blood he has created all men. Yes, sir. And that, that's legit. Yes, sir. Uh, Father God, I thank you for this time of fellowship. I thank you for this time of study. I thank you for your spirit being in the midst of us and continually reveal to us the secret things. Father well, God, it's just, it's a blessing to be in your presence. Yes. Just fellowship with you and just, just sit and just listen to you mm. and, mm. and glean from you, man. It's, it's, yes. I thank you for the, I thank you for the, for the relationship. I thank you for thank bringing me through whatever it is that I needed to go through in order to get to this place. Come on, Lord. But this is a good place. I mm. thank you, Father God, for the revival that's taking place in the United States of America right now. Yes. I really do. Because I know you're able. I'm not worried about what men can do. I know you can do all things. And you have at least two sitting here right now before you who are willing to get out there and make this thing work. Come on. Just tell them what we need to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> all you got to do is speak the word, and, and we are, we'll be about it. Got Come nothing on. else going on right now, Lord. So mm -hmm. just... Just use us. Just use us. Give fulfillment and meaning to our lives. Mm. Use us, Father God, to accomplish your will in the earth. That when we step into your presence, you might say, well done, my good and faithful servant. <laughs> Get into that rest. That's what we're looking for, and that's what we're living for. Yes, sir. Lord, don't let our expectations be dashed. Nope. The let word us, won't. Use us, word. Lord. Use word us. Won't. Mm -mm. In your word won't. In your holy name, I pray these things. I pray protection upon our households that we go forth, Lord God, to propagate this gospel. I pray that they don't bring too much heat on them. But we got to preach what we got to preach. Yes. There ain't no way around it for us. We're going to do that. And we pray just dispatch the angelic forces about them. Keep them, Lord God, while we go out and do our work. You see, see we're going to be persecuted if we live godly. Come on now. Oh, Lord God, just strengthen us in accordance with your spirit. Just give us the spirit that we need in order to get through the persecution. Mm. Whatever you suffer to come in our lives, Lord, we pray that we don't suffer as the world suffers, that we don't suffer as busy bodies caught up in the other men's works, but that we suffer in accordance with your will, Lord God, that yes. the system is glorified in our suffering and that you are elevated and souls are saved. Come on now. We don't lose or, or waste resources. We know that, Father God. You said we give our lives for your sake that you give it back to us. Let us live, Lord God. Let us live in the glory of the kingdom, the glory of, of, of your spirit in us, Lord God the glory of the eternal kingdom that you have made us a part of, mm. the eternal life that you have promised us. And yes. this I pray in the name of my Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, sir. Years.